are back in the kitchen with Angela Baldanza. Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us. Now, the last time you and I met, we were making a delicacy that was not so easy on the waist, but it sure was good. It sure was. It was a pound cake. <laughs> Today, power plate. How did you come up with the inspiration for this? Well, we came up with it because we're seeing all these wonderful quinoa bowls and things mm -hmm. that are happening for health, and we thought, why not call it something different? Why not call it a power plate as in like power player? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically that's how we came up with it and um, again looking at the best freshest ingredients that we could get of course all organic and making the plate look really pretty. As, 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 as witnessed right here yeah, that is sure, gorgeous. Sure. And what we were looking to do is basically you know giving the consumer eating it, you know, half the calories and twice the energy. Mm -hmm. So with all of the protein and fiber that's on the plate, it really satisfies you for a good amount of the day, which is nice. And Angela, it's better than just a plain salad. I mean, Absolutely. I like a salad, but after a while, the salad 100%. gets a little monotonous. You took the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. We are selling so many of them at the cafe now, they really are replacing a lot of our salad business. Yeah. Because it's just something different. It's a new twist. And this is something you can replicate at home? Easily. Which you will... Help show us. you right now. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one, which is the Mediterranean Power mm, Plate. I'm I think that's my over here. One. So what we do is we take the um, zucchini squash, mm -hmm. and very simply, just to show you, and I have it done already in the essence of time, but you can just buy one of these great little peelers. Oh, I was going to say, what is yeah. this doohickey? It's a peeler <laughs> that actually grates the it's... zucchini for you, so it's all done because I've seen in spaghetti everywhere. form. The spiral the spiralizer, you can use that as well. But this is kind of like that. Right. Wow. And this is the finished product right here. So what we do is we put the, we are calling it the zucchini spaghettini. We put that in. Okay, then we have these beautiful rainbow carrots. They really are gorgeous. Rainbow carrots go in. My most favorite of all, and I'm using my hands. It's okay. Is They're the clean. Watermelon radish. They're absolutely Can I beautiful. Can another one of these suckers? Please, and if you don't mind my hands, they are I don't clean. mind your hands, because <laughs> this is, um, mm. Mm. a traditional radish is spicy. This has notes of, um, of sweet. Absolutely. Which is really nice. We're putting in cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We're also adding cucumber. Okay. So you see you're getting so much fiber here. Right. And then what we've done too is we just take a little bit of red onion just to give it a little bit of kick and we make sure that the onions are nice and slivered. Because so you don't want a mouthful of... Yeah, you don't yeah. want big chunks, exactly. And then of course the final part is the protein which is cooked, mm -hmm. your chicken. And you can shred it with your hands or you can just chop it up nice and lean. And then what, what we do this? is just a simple olive oil and fresh lemon. That's all it is. Drizzle it on. Delicious. Drizzle it on. And then? And then I take a little bit of my fleur de sel. <gasps> but this isn't just regular fleur de sel. This has peppercorns in it. Which as is well. absolutely delicious. And then you just mix it up. Angela, this is so simple. So simple. The, and how many ingredients? What is it, six? That's it, six, Five seven six ingredients. ingredients. And you can actually make it, you know, you can put shrimp in, you can change it up if you like, mm -hmm. but basically that's it. And you and toss you it all together. Plating is done uh, right there. Dollop of hummus. Exactly. And we make the hummus fresh as well, which Obviously. is your chickpeas, tahini, olive oil. All right. Mm -hmm. And then tell us the other one, which the is... The other one here is rainbow Swiss chard, which is beautiful. So pretty. Cremini mushrooms. We put in red onions. We put in the rainbow carrots. And then we top it off with chives. Unbelievable. Now, what we do here is we cook this a little bit, just a little bit, the Swiss chard, just to soften it up a little bit. And how do you cook Swiss chard? Do you boil it? Do you No, we saute just saute it. it. We yeah. saute it in a little extra virgin olive oil. And then what we do is we prepare the red quinoa because we like the mixture of colors. So we add the red quinoa in there. And the quinoa has great benefits. I always find that Protein. quinoa, like, you, you, you have a salad, but you need an extra little something. You don't know what it is. I'm Puerto Rican. I immediately go to white rice. But, you know, that's not always good for the hips. So the quinoa is a nice is it's, a second It's a nice up. alternative. It's also gluten-free. By the way, both, both dishes are gluten-free, which is great. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, it helps that, that craze right now. Right. Which is, um, you know, really happening. And then this dish we also top with a protein. We do an organic egg. Personally, I like a poached egg on top mm -hmm. with, it, with it being a little bit soft, and then it can open up and ooze mm -hmm. into the salad. Or you can always do a hard-boiled egg as well. Unbelievable. I'm going to, do we have any Yes, we, of course we forks. do. Can I plate one for Please, you? Please, chef. Absolutely. Remind <laughs> us where we find you in real life when you're not on TV. Okay, I'm at the Baldanza Cafe 
and that's in New Canaan, Connecticut at 17 Elm Street. Run, and don't walk. Exactly. We would love to see you there. I'm going. And there I love go. this spiralizer situation. <laughs> mm. So it has good crunch. As I said, the fiber really fills you up. So good. Thank and you so much. You're welcome. Come back. Let's do a Valentine's mm. situation. We will. We'll do mm. a sweet one next time. No one here is going to like this, so all of you just go away. I'll take care of the rest, especially <laughs> you, Ryan. Uh,